if looks could tell you how I feel right now, this would be doing a really good job of explaining that. I am tired. I fell asleep at 3 in the morning. Couldn't fall asleep, so I watched a very addicting show on Apple TV, Shining Girls. So good. Uh, I'm also reading a book, listening to a book. It's called Paper, Rock, Scissors. I joined a creepy book club on TikTok the other day, and I got that recommendation, so I'm listening to that. And it's about to get creepy, I think. I don't know. It's kind of building up to it. So I didn't sleep well. Woke up early. Kaylee had an interview this morning for a job. And I want to just clean this house. We are days away from school starting. And I've got lots of laundry. Got this one. I've got another one out there. I've got a load in. We are going to clean inside and out in the garage. I'm intermittent fasting, so I have at least two hours before I can eat again, but Jason's making eggs in the kitchen, so I'm going to start cleaning, and then I'm going to make him come help me. Also, we're waking kids up. <laughs> I woke up Ashley at 10. She's kind of working her way out, um, and Abby will get a rude awakening here in a minute when I go up to vacuum, so come and clean everything with me. One load going. This load is done, but I put it onto a wrinkle release because I didn't fold this last night. So I'm gonna let that kinda work some of the wrinkles out and then I'll come back. Abby made me cookies yesterday because I'm going to a birthday party. I'll explain that here in a second. And I still have at least two loads of laundry to do. That's white and that is Chelsea and Ashley's, which actually I can separate the white towels from here probably. That's probably just all, oh, there's a ponytail. Probably all kids' clothes. We're gonna get everything done today. Ponytail goes on to my little ponytail caddy. They rotate from being down here and up in my bedroom. So I collect them from upstairs and bring them down here. I do my hair down here in the morning, but I take it out at night upstairs. So I just kind of rotate. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back up and vacuum because I wanna just keep going on this. Okay. He's over there making eggs. Empty laundry basket's gonna go back up. And I need a chapstick. Someone stole my chapstick from my bedroom last night. Oh, nothing bothers me more than not finding chapstick. I still don't know who culprit is. It is 70 degrees. It's max gonna be 70 degrees today and I am living for it because, and that's why I'm cleaning today so it's not so hot, especially out in the garage. But then we have 90 degree weather coming back like the day kids start, start school. So <laughs> I'm gonna take advantage of the cooler weather to clean. And then tonight, I get to go to a birthday party for a friend of mine, the one who gave me the pinwheels. You know who you are. You're gonna find out soon enough that your husband is throwing a surprise birthday party for you. And one of her things is to not only deliver chocolate chip cookies, but you always request them. And she has this funny, quirky personality. She's like, hey, if anyone wants to deliver chocolate chip cookies, I'll be home until, you know, till 9 p.m. or whatever. And some people show up with chocolate chip cookies and so that's kind of a thing for her and so her husband has asked every single person coming to the party to bring her a dozen cookies. <laughs> I, I'm living for it. It's totally fine. So Abby made those cookies for me. I don't think I need to get her any other present. She loves chocolate. And she loves cookies. So I think she's going to be all set after tonight. My main goal today is to clean the house, get cleaned up and go to that. Maybe we'll be able to go and do a little mini girls night out after that. I'm gonna have Ashley clean up the shoes right here, get her Saturday tour done ahead of time. I literally sat here in this corner most of the day yesterday if I wasn't in the car. I actually almost filmed yesterday as I was in said car, taking kids back and forth and waiting in parking lots because I didn't want to waste the gas to go home. But nothing else happened. Uh, let's see, let's go up and vacuum upstairs. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. If I want 
You know how like uh, people who are weightlifters, or not weightlifters, like wrestlers, uh, wrap themselves in saran wrap to like lose weight to like get into a new weight weight bracket? Yep. Yeah, I don't need a saran wrap, but it certainly isn't like put me into an, <laughs> a new weight bracket. I'm sweating out of every orifice right now. Like it's I, gross, huh? it's gross. It is gross. I hope we don't need to say orifice. You think that word's gross? That's better than moist. I was about to say that. <laughs> Your moist orifice is great. That'll get some YouTube views. Yeah, it will. Okay, we're done on the first floor, or on the upper floor. Everyone's awake now, but I'm going to make them clean their bathroom, clean their bedrooms. And I've got our room cleaned up. It's all good to go. I do a pretty good job now at keeping my makeup desk wiped off almost every single time I use it. And this is a, something a little new that I got. It's kind of fun. You'll see that in a future video. But I do a pretty good job at cleaning this off. So I didn't need to like hardcore clean that. And I just got this caddy. I don't know if I ever showed you how I organized it. Um, I just have a few makeup palettes that don't fit into this. I actually wouldn't mind getting a whole second one of these. These are from Bali Brand, the YouTuber, Bonnie. Um, I wouldn't mind having a second one and having it be taller or even on this side and have it just be all makeup palettes, but they're like a hundred bucks and I don't even know if they even make them on the website anymore. So anyway, I just have a few of those. I have my straightener and my brush, some makeup wipes, and then I have my little razors for my face. Then I have a cute little tray in here for my pins and it can slide back and forth. And then I have my little nail kit, but most of the time my, um, let's see if they're here. Yep, my tweezers are gone. Everyone always takes my tweezers, drives me absolutely bonkers. And then I just have my perfume back there. So this didn't need to get really cleaned that much. I am loving the cooler weather today. Hey, Abby, can you put your towels in the closet? So let's go downstairs. I'll take your bucket, Chels, because now I am going downstairs. Um, main floor, well, aside for everything I threw down the stairs <laughs> to put away or wash or hangers or whatever, um, the main floor is pretty good. I'm going to have Ashley do her Saturday chore here and get that area cleaned up. And I'm going to vacuum this whole floor. But then I think we're ready to go outside and do the garage. This is just regular dishes after Abby made cookies yesterday but we'll have that be their regular chores when they come down. Yes, they still have regular chores. <laughs> we are getting back on a better schedule with that going into the school year because we've had a problem with dishes not getting unloaded until like 9 p.m. And that means there's a whole sink full of dirty dishes and that drives me nuts. So we're gonna get things straightened up down here and then we'll move to the garage. I'm working on vacuuming all the floors down here, but I think this is the battery case. So I'm gonna put Jason on organizing this really quick. Okay, here's the battery case. This is a fireproof case and it separates the batteries so that they can't touch each other and ignite. So here's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, just vacuumed the main floor. He unloaded after the upstairs. Nice. That's just one bedroom upstairs and then down here. Lots of hair. Lots of hair in this house. Okay. He's gotten the whole battery thing filled up. 
and it came with a tester. I just found that, so that's kind of nice. And I will get rid of all this garbage. What else is in here? You could pack it with this kind of stuff, Jace. Like put all these little things in that little pouch over on the side. Okay, the whole floor, the whole house, all vacuumed. I need to put the vacuum away. I have started more loads of laundry, sorting through all of our swim gear, getting it ready to come out here. I've been working my way toward the garage. Now we're here. Our poor wagon. Our poor, poor wagon. He's tearing it apart, trying like tear it down so we can put it in the trash. That's pretty sad. <laughs> it was a good wagon while it lasted. How are you gonna, just gonna break that frame apart and stick yeah, it in the trash? Gotta get small enough to go. Okay, this is next up. We've got summer stuff that we're gonna pack away. Vitamin waters I'm going to put into the fridge. Um, I've got a few of these bins that are actually empty and maybe we can put some of the, the gear in it. That would be fantastic. Um, the toilet paper actually can go upstairs. We have a new little system upstairs, so that can go up there. Um, toilet paper here. Yep, we've got another thing right there we could kind of filter and put upstairs. We've got more luggage and stuff from this summer that we need to put away up into the suitcases. Um, this is pretty organized right here. It's not too bad. I just want to kind of do an inventory of what we can stock up on. Get the flour put back away into the tub that's down below. Get my Cokes put up into the fridge. So again, suitcase put away. So we're just kind of decluttering and getting things all cleaned up. I'm not gonna lie, not in the greatest mood after that. Jason kind of made a low dig at me and I'm not in a great mood. But we've got all these bins straightened up. He has his gear put into the bins. That's what the argument was about. Um, but I'm gonna use my label maker when I get them to mark what's in them so that it's easier. Tuck things down below, like right down here. All our air mattresses, uh, paper products that I can get to but is down low. Um, I'm gonna probably have a problem with him stacking these all up because I'm betting that's his gear. And this is all my paper products that I get into or my cleaning products, so that's gonna change. When he comes back out, all of his gear up there, we could actually stack higher, so we could we could move things up. Um, but we can come over here. Uh, the food is all kind of organized and situated over here. We got the flour put into the bucket, and now Jason is going to sweep, and I'm all done. Ah, feels good to get showered, changed. How I feel? I still have not eaten. It is 2:10. I had a breakfast drink about an hour ago before I got in the shower. I'm very hungry, but I think we might get some lunch out, which I know is not the greatest option, but we want to get some errands done. And then I I just don't want to be out and about all day. Oh, they added to my laundry. Get Jason to pull that set of whites out. You guys, I can't get everything put away. Can you see this? One thing, <laughs> one thing left. Chase, can you put that board out there? I left one in here. I can't find my shoes. We have some errands to do. I need some new medicine. I have some med new medicine I'm going to start taking. I'll talk about that later. But we need to go and run some errands. The kids are off playing. So nice to have their friends done with camp. <laughs> so nice. They go out in the morning. They come home. They have lunch. They go right back out. And they're tired. Um, those are my beach ones. I can't find my shoes. I just got to Target and I'm walking away slowly from all the houses. This is actually kind of cute though. Oh, I do not need more houses though. Anything else fun here? Oh dear. Oh dear. All right, I'll keep walking. I'll keep walking. It's really cute though. Look, these ones are like fuzzy and cute. Okay, so Jason's trying to find like workout shirts. He works out so much, he doesn't have enough. Shush. The ones I have <laughs> Maybe I should challenge ones. him to clean his closet out. Don't, Straighten don't it up. Don't need to challenge me. You should see the floor. Well, and I, I, maybe you'd have, maybe you have more in there that you don't know about. So you're telling me not to get it so that I should wait and clean my no, closet? No, I'm just challenging you to I'm clean your closet challenge. out if you get it. Challenge. He doesn't accept this challenge because he doesn't Shh. think it's legit. 
Anywho, we are getting cups. He got like, I don't know, the multicolor ones. We just don't want to go to Costco today. Otherwise, he would have gotten a bigger pack from Costco. We keep running out of cords and plugs. So we've got a whole bunch of those right here. Abby needs one. Um, I am going to be on the hot, hot lookout for um, ham. Our grocery store does discounts on meat on Mondays and I'm going to start going to the store on Monday mornings and try and find this on clearance because we are going through it like crazy but I need to get it at a cheaper price and then we're boring. Just floss. Get it. It's fine. Alright, I'm sitting in my car. What? I say it'd be fun when my thing shows up. <laughs> okay. Here, let me try and get better. Alright, I'm sitting in my car. Just got a, I was kind of interrupted. I was doing something, I'll tell you here in a second. Let me see if I can get this to go through. And then my doctor called me back because I've been trying to get this medication. <sighs> you guys, if you've been here with me for a while, you know I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying, I'm pre-diabetic. I'm trying to um, get my A1C levels to come down. They went up a smidge because of my summer and I haven't made wise choices. It's all on me. I haven't walked enough, even though I have walked a ton. I haven't walked enough. Um, I'll, I'm going to do a whole different video because the option I was just given, um, I'm going to want to do a whole whole video on. But it's just frustrating. This is now the fourth medication that I have tried to get. And my doctor even was nice enough to give me a discount code, code like whole packet to take to the pharmacy to make it for free. And I tried that and I've been trying to get it to go through all week long and they say that they were sending back a pre-authorization code to the doctor and the insurance and I just called, or the doctor just called me and she's like, yeah, your insurance denied it. <laughs> just, just so frustrating. And she knows why they're denying it. It's because I don't have diabetes. I'm not diagnosed with diabetes and insurance won't cover this medication if I don't in fact have, have diabetes. But it's like, we're trying to avoid that. It's just, it's so frustrating. Why don't you try and help patients out to avoid getting diabetes and having to do insulin and having to do medication? Why don't you try to avoid the problem and then approve medications to avoid the problem? I, I could just go off. Anyway, I digress. But we're now on to our fourth medication, so I'm gonna have to do that option. She's gonna try and put that one through today and I'm gonna try and get it. I just need to get it because it's not gonna make me feel great. And I just want to like get the kids off to school and not feel great at home and not have to really like care for people during the day um, as I'm not feeling great for the next couple weeks as I go onto this medication. So I'm just kind of frustrated. But before that, before I got the call from the doctor's office, <laughs> so Jason and I all summer long, I saw something on TikTok, like beginning of the summer. We saw this TikTok where you could get pet cooling pads to put on your bed to help you cool down at night. We went and priced them out at the pet store and they were $50. We were gonna do a whole video about this and we just didn't end up being able to do it because they were $50 a piece. And it was like this teeny tiny pad. And I was like, that's just not feasible. I could buy four fans for $50, right? And we had a decent summer. We were able to cool, cool Chelsea down. Our room gets cool at night. We only had one or two nights that was unbearable. Anyway, again, I was watching TikTok my kids make fun of me, but I'm on the right side of TikTok and I find all the little hacks and Ikea, Ikea has a cooling pad, literally for adults, for your bed, put it on your bed, lay down on it, put it in your pillowcase. The options are endless. Women in your 40s and 50s and even 60s, if you have menopause or premenopause or perimenopause like me, get these cooling pads from Ikea. I just ordered four. They're $14.99 a piece. I got four of them for the price that I was gonna get one. One. So Chelsea gets one, Ashley gets one, I get one, and then if Jason is hot, he was really hot last night for some reason. Um, I wasn't, but I got four. I got four, and they're out of stock at our, our Ikea. We were just gonna like hightail it down there. I was gonna fill up my water again, go to the bathroom, we were just gonna go to Ikea, but they're out of stock. And the shipping on it was $5.99. I was like, that's my tank of gas, people. It would be a gallon of gas for us to get down to Ikea. It's like a half hour away, half hour back. 
six dollars is the cost and gas right now so guess what you can ship it to me and i will get it on the second of september <laughs> and yes i know that the the hot season is kind of winding down but we have 90 degree weather for the whole first week of school we're not done with it here in the northwest we have very late summer it's wonderful because we have sunshine and we love it I just know Chelsea is gonna want to have more comfortable sleep as she gets up and early in the morning, needing to go to bed earlier at night when it's still a little bit hot. And so I need to cool her down. She's gonna be so excited. So, so excited when I, I don't know if I should surprise her with it and have it just show up in the mail or tell her about it. But I'm betting Jason's probably in there telling her about it, but. Anyway, so that's what I was doing, ordering it, and I still haven't like put the, my credit card information in the app for it to like ship to me, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. So that was kind of fun to find literally on our way home from Target. So anyway, we'll see what my doctor is able to get me prescribed for my medication. Again, I'm gonna do a whole video about it, um, and you'll understand more why. If you've already like been down this road, you might understand but I'm gonna do a whole different video on it and routines that I'm gonna start. It's like two different videos, so just stay tuned. And then you remember you still have five loads of laundry. Like, <laughs> I was just looking at the garage. I'm like, oh, we got the house all cleaned. Oh, I'm so excited to come home to a clean, cool house. 70, oh, it just literally switched. 69 degrees in here, it's so nice. There's a breeze outside, so we can open up a window again. And I forgot I have five loads of laundry. He's already taken to the floor. Give him five minutes and he's gonna be asleep. I am relaxing. <laughs> yeah, with your eyes, your... Are the girls here? I wanted to tell Chelsea about her cooling no, pad. I don't know. They're not here. That's good though. What are you wearing? Clothes. Okay, that's just a weird outfit for right now. So you know how we were telling you about those cooling pads for it. dogs? So I know you guys make fun of me for TikTok all the time, but guess what I just saw on TikTok? Cooling pads for people at Ikea. And guess what? Because I'm a nice mom, I just ordered you one. You could even have two. I actually ordered four. Can I have two? Yes, you can have one. You have no idea. Is that an, a good thing? I did a good thing. Oh, stop! You are. I'm you'll just enjoy tired. it. Okay, fine, whatever. Meanwhile, Jacob and Kaylee are going on a little picnic. Is there a package? Ooh, I'm not gonna. Can't show you guys what it is. It's a secret. <laughs> I, that bleeped out because Jacob literally just said it what it was. Thank you so much for giving away the surprise. But thanks to my editing support skills, I can edit that out. I can Have always go with you guys. Over. Yeah, she can go with you as a I chaperone. Know with you sit between you, and whenever you try kissing, I'll be like, no, it's okay. <laughs> she can act like Max. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, you're mine. All right, have a fun picnic. Hopefully, it doesn't start raining. You might want to check the forecast. It's supposed it's to start bring an tonight. Umbrella. They'll just get in the car. Bye, kid. All right, I have been working on a little secret project down here. I'm so excited, but I don't know when you're gonna get to see that video because I'm waiting for one more piece. Sorry, it's noisy. Let me turn off the AC real quick. I don't actually need it. It's not too hot. I just like it to be cold, so oh, that's much better. So I am watching this show on Apple TV. I don't know if I mentioned this. It's called The Shining Girls. I have it right here. Um, so good <laughs> I love I love this kind of show so I won't even like give you any hints because I didn't realize what kind of show it was until episode six it's good trust me but I have to head out 
um, and go to this birthday party of mine. And I'm gonna go and pick up a friend and take her with me. So these guys here at home are gonna fend for themselves. This one is making what? Blueberry muffins. So yummy. Put them in now. Put them in. Little bakers. See, you teach them young and they start doing all the work for you, right? Are you gonna have some muffins and something else to go with that for dinner? Where's the box? Oh, I just put it in the, oh, it's right inside this right here, that box right there. Okay, I'm gonna head out. Ash, make sure you get dinner, okay? okay. And Jason, you're gonna go work out, right? Okay, I don't know what have a good time. I'll help Dad help her with the time and all that kind of stuff, okay? the magic places in the world I've been to this is where my heart is oh you know it's true no matter where I go I'm coming home to you